Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. Time for the blog that truly blazes, as I've been doing for about the last seven or eight years. <laughs> yes, it's been that long. And today's date is the 14th of August of 2016. And of course, what we're going to do today is go over the end of last week's reading, what we are coming into now, and always most interesting for us, what lies ahead of us at the end of the upcoming week. So do stay tuned. Indeed, an interesting ride. That's right. The first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. And this card was the Ten of Wands. Ooh. Saturn in Sagittarius, entitled Oppression. Having the weight of the world upon our shoulders having too many irons in the fire, being too involved in too many projects at one time. Now, as I mentioned last week, this did not have to be. We could avoid this by maintaining our priorities, looking carefully at what we really want to do, and excluding things that don't really truly matter to us. So it's a matter of taking control. In either way, if, even if you did find yourself in this state, we are going to find more clarity. We're going to find our way out of this as the week progresses. Yes, the card for the present, what we're coming into now, is the Magician, or Magus, as is entitled in my Thoth Tarot. Now this is attributed to Mercury, planet of our mentality, of our mind, of our ability to reason, our ability to think clearly, and to find our way. So expect this week for your mind to be fairly sharp. You're going to be perceptive. You may find yourself getting more in touch with your talents, your abilities, especially self-expression, whether it's writing, speaking, doing things on the internet, whatever it is that you express yourself, expect to be more expressive. And the main thing is having that sharpness of mind so that we're not getting caught up in too many things that are extraneous to us. Now we are going to have a full moon coming up on Thursday. This unfortunately is a lunar eclipse. Now, I say unfortunately because they can look neat, but from an energetic standpoint, it's not really the best thing for us. It does not tend to give us clarity. It does not tend to do anything for us other than just simply cut out some moonlight. But for energetic reasons, metaphysical reasons, it's not a real favorable time. So I'm glad to see the Magus there, the Magician there, the Mercury power, the clarity of mind. That is definitely going to be helpful to us. And then towards the end of the week, the energy shifts again even in an even more positive way. Yes, the third and final card, the card for the end of the week, or about a week from now, is the Four of Wands. Now this is entitled Completion. It's attributed to Venus and Aries. Our moon, as a matter of fact, will be in Aries, and our moon right now is Aquarius. So there's a little bit of a correlation here between moon signs and the things that we're seeing going on in the cards. But I've always liked the Four of Wands because it is that completion of a phase in our lives. It's closing the chapter of a book, getting ready to open up another one. So if you need a shift, you need to go into a different phase, you need some help, it's coming. You're going to find yourself going in a new direction. You're going to find yourself tidying up business, taking care of that leftover yuck from the Ten of Wands, if there was any, and find yourself going off, blazing off, that's right, blazing like our blog, off into a new and productive direction. So this is indeed exciting times, a lot of fire, a lot of air, very, very much an energetic week, and I think ultimately, again, very, very productive. But well, there you go. The blog blazed. You blazed with it. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Till I see you next week, many, many blessings.